Hey YouTube, in this video I'm gonna show you 10 very different sounds that you can get out of one single snare drum. If you're looking for high quality, in-depth drum courses covering all sorts of topics ranging from basic drum tuning to advanced polyrhythm exercises, our completely free platform artofdrumming.com is what you're looking for. Create your free account now and get started. Hey, my name is Andy and I'm here today to talk about snare drum sound. No matter if you're in the studio laying down some drum tracks or if you're out on the road playing gigs and trying to nail the sound every night, it's essential to find the perfect snare drum sound for every song. So this video is created to give you an idea of all the possibilities you have with only one single snare drum. For this video we're using a 14x6 Sonor AQ2 Maple snare drum with a Remo Ambassador coded drum head. The snare and the drum head stay the same for all the playing sequences. Also the miking with a Biodynamic M201 on top and a Biodynamic TG D58 below the snare drum stay the same with all playing sequences. Another thing to mention is that also the processing with reverb, compression and EQing stays the same throughout the whole video. So everything that changes is only tuning and what we put on the snare drum. So to get the whole thing started, here is this snare drum in a medium open tuning. So this open medium tuning works well for rock drumming and also for most jazz applications. Now sometimes when you play ballads or if you just feel that it suits your music, you might want to go with a very low and very dead snare sound. So now what I did is I tuned down the batter head, then I installed two of those mini muffs just to reduce the overtones and shorten the sustain. And then with the lower tuning, I also loosen the snare wires so that I get a bit of sustain from the snare wires. With those very, very low tunings, rim shots do not work that good. So I'm not gonna play rim shots, I'm just gonna play the snare in the center. And this is what I ended up with. If you're looking for a quick way to imitate a clap sound on your snare drum, this one works really great. Simply place a splash cymbal on top of your batter head. In my case, I fixed it with one of Drum G's tools. And then, no matter the tuning, this now is a standard tuning. The sound of your snare drum will change completely. So now, have a listen to what this sounds like. Now, if you change the splash cymbal for a much heavier bell, the sound will get even shorter and just become another characteristic. Check it out now. Now that we've heard the snare in a medium and a low range, let's try what it sounds like in a very high tuning. First, without any muffling, with the snares off, in a reggae context.
A very high tuning also works great for funk or drum and bass drumming. In this case, I want the snare to be a little shorter, so I used one of Remo's crown gels to shorten the sustain. Here is what it sounds like in a funk groove. The next one is a little more experimental. If you're looking for a very short sound and if you want to play, for example, for a short passage of a song in a drum and bass feel, just turn your snare upside down. This way you will get a very, very short and very precise sound. But if you plan on playing like this for longer, make sure to install a better head on the rezzo side of your snare. The rezzo head is very, very thin and might break after just a few strokes. So for now, I'm gonna demonstrate it with the rezzo head, but be very gentle with, with my playing. Just listen to how it sounds and how you can incorporate also the snare wires. The next one is just another option of something that you can put on your snare drum. In this case, it's one of those nut shakers that really changes the sound and just adds some texture to your snare sound, which is really, really cool. Like with the, the splash symbol before, I used one of Drum G's tools to fix the nut shaker in the position. And this is what it sounds like with the snare in a medium tuning. If you're looking for a more old-school sound, a wallet will come in very handy. No matter the tuning, simply place your wallet on top of your snare drum and you'll have a Motown-like snare sound. This works really, really well and your wallet might always be available so you have this sound with you all the time. Here is what it sounds like with one of the most famous Motown grooves. Another easy to achieve vintage or old school sound is just placing a kitchen towel on top of your snare drum. Mr. Muff just released a new tool called the Muffin, which does exactly the same. It's like a kitchen towel, a little thinner, but kind of the same, and has a felt ring on the outside that helps you keep it in place on your snare drum. No matter the tunic, you will end up with a very muffled and low sound. So listen to this one in like a hip hop groove. Now to give you an idea of how endless your possibilities are, we just took some old tension rods and fixed them on top of the snare drum with one of our drum G's. This adds some really nice texture, some metal-ish sound, and even though this might not be something to work with in live scenario, if you're looking for a nice sound in the studio, or for a sample, or whatever, doing stuff like this might come in very, very handy. 
So listen to what this sounds like. Last but not least, one of the classics that always works great. Doubling a snare sound with a tambourine. But you might not be able to play a tambourine while you play the drums. So, one of those small thingies helps a lot. And once again, Drum G helps to keep it in place and this one adds a really, really nice color to your snare sound. So now that you've seen all those options and all those ideas, it's your turn to pick which ones you liked, what tools you want to have in your stick bag or in your cymbal bag or whatever. And it's also your turn to just walk through your house, walk through your rehearsal space and look for stuff that you can use to manipulate your snare sound. Make sure to post your ideas in the comments, like and subscribe to help us grow our channel and see you in one of the next videos.